Adaptations of video games have had a troubled history. Not well received by the critics or the fans, they do have better chance at the box office, with Resident Evil being a testament to that. So far we're talking five sequels here, so it's somewhat successful, but it doesn't get any respect. I don't know of any soul who could say they like an Oo Bowl movie, but there are people out there who do have a hidden crust for Warcraft or Lara Croft Tomb Raider or Prince of Persia. The best you could say that there are some that aren't awful. I guess if you enjoyed the spirits within, that's all that matters. Is there really an acceptable video game adaptation? People's views and opinions are all mixed. If it's my opinion versus yours, we're pretty much stalemate. After all, there's no right or wrong opinion. 70 years from now, will we look back on that one movie that was important in an evolving film? That one movie that our teachers will mention in film school? Maybe it hasn't been made yet. Maybe it or they have. Now I'm getting to the meat of my discussion. The theory is that these movies didn't make a change to film but made a change to the games they were an adaptation of. And I'm talking about the two fighters of the mid-90s, Street Fighter 2 the animated movie and Mortal Kombat. No, not that one. Correcta Mundo. Both directors did a fantastic job bringing these games to the big screen. But what makes these historic is not what they recreated, but what they added. Street Fighter 2 the animated movie was of course anime. This would of course inspire the look for the Street Fighter Alpha games. Changing the character's sprites. Take M. Bison for example. Making him look like he did in the movie. Making him bigger, buffer, chunkier. Making him act more sadistic. There's a lot of these touches like Zangief has that robe. Uh, Kami has the trench coat. They've even developed a kind of bromance between Ryu and Ken. They gave a platonic love for Guile and Chun Li. In fact, one of the scenes inspires a stage. And for Mortal Kombat, they changed the Every Man for Himself Death Tournament into a tournament of life, pitting good against evil. They made Liu Kang a hero with a, an appointment for destiny and really made him more of a gentle soul. They gave Kano his personality we're so fond of with that English accent. Giving sexual attention to Sonya and Johnny, very little sex. And for a while it made Raiden kind of this cocky, snide god who acted very human, which we saw more with the cartoon. It also gave it that iconic kick-ass techno beats that makes uh, best of three rounds way too epic to behold. What my theory is, of course, that the developers have taken notes from what others have done with their creation. It might be a strange way of weighing their quality. Maybe we're better thinking not what they are, but what they've done. I'm just thinking outside the box, people. Thank you.